I think it's a really good, good question because I think, to be honest, it's getting tougher and tougher for any brand to stand out with consumers today. The reason is that every consumer today has these superpowers where they can access any content ever created on the tip of their thumb on the mobile phone. So it's getting really, really difficult and I think more, more difficult than ever for brands to stand out. And the way that we think about it is they need to really make sure that any content that they create is really, really strong. Otherwise, it won't stand out. It won't stand through the clutter. And secondly, that they distribute it to people that really care about that content. So relevancy. For me, it's great content and relevancy. If you get either of those two wrong, you won't cut through the clutter anymore. I think one big trend that we have seen over the last uh, year or, or two is that to really leverage the Facebook platform right, you've got to use the right solutions. Um, and those solutions will depend on what your business objectives are. If you're a big brand advertiser, for example, you care a lot about reach, reaching the right people at scale. So you use something like our reach and frequency tool. You use our new video solution, which has been proven to be amazing uh, for most advertisers. That's what you use if you're like a big brand advertiser. Um, if you are more of a performance advertiser, if you want to promote your app, use different solutions. The key solutions that we've seen to work really well for performance and DR advertisers um, are custom audiences, where you use existing databases, either offline databases or online databases, or people that have used your app, and you target these people and lookalikes of these people um, to make sure that you really just target the right people with the right message. So I would say for brand advertisers, it's reach and frequency and video. And for DR advertisers, it's really custom audiences, lookalikes, and if you want to promote a new app that we do, um, app install and app engagement. I think our solutions are really supposed to work globally, but be locally relevant. So all of our solutions are global, but also work, work locally really well. The reason is that Facebook is, to some extent, you know, local by definition. All the content that's on there is personalized. It comes from the friends and people around you, right? So all the targeting that we have, um, all the interests that we have are from people locally. So I think it really is a global solution that works really well locally. Um, and those ideas for our solutions can come from anywhere in the world. They can be, come from the US, but we've even had some ideas um, that came from this part of the world that are now being applied globally. Uh, and one solution is something I've introduced recently, which is called expat targeting. So we saw that there was a big demand for people to, to target people um, you know, that might live in the UAE, but are not, not from here originally. So now you can target people uh, in that way as well. That's something that um, is being used here and came from here, and the idea came from here, but it's now being used globally. I think there isn't, there isn't really a, a recipe um, uh, for that. I think for us as Facebook, you know, we always try to understand what's happening in the world. We try to understand the ecosystem. It's moving so, so fast, right? We've learned ourselves um, that the world has moved really quickly from a world which was all about the web to a world which is all about mobile and which is all about mobile apps. So for us, it's just interesting to understand what's happening in that space. So for me today here, being at the Wamla event was, was really good. It was a great learning experience. I got a better feel for you know, what the startups and the entrepreneurs of this part of the world think about when it comes to the new user experience that they are creating um, on, the, on mobile apps in particular. I think that's been the piece that interested me most because I think that's, uh, that's where the future lies.